Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to download the Baldur's Gate 3's modding toolkit that was launched in patch 7. So if you want to make your own mods, this is the first step in doing that. So you're going to go into your library here so you can see all your games and you're just going to click on Baldur's Gate itself. So once you go into the game's main story page, you're going to see here a DLC tab. So you're going to click under that and uh, this is going to bring you to where the DLC is stored, where there's the digital deluxe upgrade as well as the modding toolkit. So the modding toolkit, you're just going to click on this right here, and this is going to bring it all up so you can get into creating your own mods. So you're just going to download this, and then once it's downloaded, it's going to show that it's in your inventory there. So just the quick download, free to play, and you do require Baldur's Gate 3 in order to play this. So this allows you to create your own mods, create new classes, subclasses, new spells, new dice skins, new weapons and armor, and some much, much more. This does require about 10 gigabytes to download, so once you have that downloaded, you can go back to your library there and it's going to be in your library. So you can go ahead here and if you want, you can go to your properties to make sure that it is in your DLC settings here. So you can see that there, the 10.2 gigabytes download size. So it's now in our inventory here. So we can go ahead and uh, use the Baldur's Gate 3 toolkit, which will now just be below Baldur's Gate 3 here. So it does require you to download and install. It's only about 600 megabytes there, but you're just going to go and install it to your, your drive there. And, uh, I do have Baldur's Gate 3 running, so uh, we're just playing around here. My Gale Origin. This is some of the mods. This is actually clothing from some of the characters in Act 3 that just roam around the town. So you can get their, their, their outfits, and there's a bunch of new dyes. So I just want to showcase a little bit of that. But once that's down, downloaded, uh, you can then launch it, and uh, you can go ahead with uh, popping this all up. So uh, once it's installed, you're going to go and you're going to load up the toolkit itself. Now, I may do a guide later on on how to create your own mods because it is quite a complex way of doing things. So, um, yeah, it will require a bit of patience to be able to get through it all. But, uh, yeah, that is simply it. It's a little bit of a workaround because uh, some people don't know where to find it, but you just go under the DLC tab here, and then you'll be able to create your own mods. So, yeah, if this video was helpful, let me know in the comments. If you got any questions, I can do my best to help out. So, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you all in the next video.